Grafting is a hard technique to categorize because it's not really sewing and it's not really knitting, but it's somewhere between the two. You use a tapestry needle to join two pieces of knitting by weaving yarn in and out of two sets of live stitches, while at the same time creating a pattern row on each needle. On the front needle with the right side of the work facing, and on the back needle with the wrong side facing. One of the things I've discovered in studying grafting over the last couple of years is that it's a lot more accessible than you'd think, given how it's often portrayed. I've been a knitting editor for over 28 years and have always loved the technical aspects of knitting. I think the thing I love the most about knitting is that there's always something new to learn, whether it's a brand new technique or just a different approach to a technique that's been around for a while. One of the things I've discovered in studying grafting over the last couple of years is that it's a lot more accessible than you'd think, given how it's often portrayed. Over the past couple of years, I've written several articles and blog posts on grafting. And in this video series, we're going to take an in-depth look at the grafting process, starting with the basic pattern stockinette stitch, reverse stockinette stitch, and garter stitch then moving on to ribbing, cables, and lace. 